Okay, so here is the main unit on the 607 Ash in Myrtle Point, the three, the triplex. I've parked over there, but there's tons of parking on that side there. There's unit C and then B's on the other side, but there's also parking along this road too. Fully fenced in yard. Couple blocks off the main drag. Down this road is the extension office, so it's really centrally located in town. And big, beautiful flat yard. Definitely some peeling paint on the siding. Seller says new roof in 2018. Looks like they put some new steps on the front here. No handrail. Um, looks like wood siding. But you can tell there's some peeling paint on the corners. and Doesn't look terrible, though. Some older windows throughout little porch on the front just plywood uh, on the bottom here and then we'll show you inside the unit it's a nice big unit looks like vinyl flooring all old windows Not popcorn ceiling and not acoustical paneling ceiling, just regular sheetrock. Couple ceiling fans. And this nice big room is the main unit. This is the two bedroom, one bath unit. Looks like a wall heaters. There's one here. And there's one over here. Really cool original looking door too. Painted teal. Kind of a really cool door. No coat closet behind the door, but there's an entryway with this newer flooring. Not brand new, but newer. Those windows are fogged glass. Also old windows. Kind of a bay window on this side here. Still old windows, but you can see the neighbors are all really nice homes. And this road goes down to the extension office. Nice big room here for the living. And then you walk in. Kitchen's right here. There's kind of a little, little barn door kind of thing. But you'd want your dining room out here in the living room because there's no formal dining room. Just kind of a wood countertop. Older cabinets, but lots of them. And very tall. They go all the way up to the ceiling. So really good amount of cupboard space. Really good for a rental. Same thing over here. More cupboard space. Gosh, it almost seems like if you lost a little bit of cupboard space, you could fit that refrigerator right and set it right into the wall. Because um, right here is where the old stove pipe was. Probably an old potbelly stove. And then the stove sets right next to the fridge, which is usually not the best idea. But also built-ins all around the sink, too. And then sink has these wood counters, but then also has like a granite tile countertop over here. Very old backsplash with no GFCI outlet. But this property is very rentable in its current condition. Um, you can see the yard out back. There's also a porch out back, but it's very flat. There's their junk run out of the carport probably. Carport looks like it's got a metal roof. This one has a comp. And then off of the kitchen, let me just back up a little bit so you can see, off the kitchen of the main unit, oh, also, sorry, one more thing, big pantry, really big pantry off the kitchen here. And then you've got water heater that's already double strapped, has a drip pan. And you've got your little sub panel there too. Just looks like really old flooring back here that's not mold, it's just a really old greenish, tealish um, laminate, like really old. And then some pantry shelving. So to the left of the pantry off the kitchen is this other room. Not really sure, it must have been the utility room because there's washer dryer hookups. Right behind the door here is washer dryer hookups. Kind of a little shelf here. 
kind of bored on, like, just kind of boards, not, no sheetrock in here. But there's also a little kind of storage. I think this might be like, you know, for potatoes or something. It's just kind of a weird little storage with a screen on the outside. Um, and then this little canning pantry here, which kind of tucks back. There's like a little nook. But then behind this old door is like just a little half bath. Well, a toilet, no sink. So I guess a quarter bath. And in this bathroom, it's like older flooring. That's a mirror on the wall, a little medicine cabinet. There is a light fixture on the top of the ceiling and a fan, but not really anything else. And then an additional, kind of like a shop room where they keep all their paint and their ladders and extra doors, but there's like a bonus room back here, which is not connected to any of the other units, but it just could be kind of another storage room for somebody. And then this is that room storage room they did install the flooring there and then it looks like that might be something for propane there is a propane tank outside so i'm assuming that might be i believe it might be gas and then here's the panel here with another stove pipe that's just been capped off looks like in the sub panel so kind of an extra little room here off the kitchen with another, I don't know, could be bedroom, I don't know. It's got carpet in there. And it started to be sheetrocked and it actually has a vinyl window. So I mean, this could be another little room too. And it does have some insulation here. So it looks like when they did do the sheetrock, they did do some insulation. Looks like R19. But this is off of the laundry room. And then this laundry room connects to another little porch. Looks like where they had their dog bowl and whatnot. Corrugated plastic on the top, so it's nice and bright back here. And then there is a driveway right there that leads to these carports. Let me go back inside, though. There's a little microwave cupboard there. Go through the kitchen. Can peek at this nice big living room slash dining and then this is the hallway to the bedrooms first bedroom here it's got a closet there just kind of an older fixture but a nice closet there and then also an additional closet on this side here probably eight by ten standard size size room not big but not small and definitely could fit a queen size bed, but I don't know about a king. <laughs> and if I back up and go to the right, here's the second bedroom. Probably same size, maybe a little smaller. Ceiling fan in this one. And then it has the closet behind a curtain. But it does have some shelves built in and it is a little bit bigger than a standard size closet in here. This room has fresh paint, it looks like. And then it has that fan fixture above, so probably nothing needed in this room here. Looks like some old heat registers. Unless that propane might be hooked up to the house, I'll have to double check on heat system. Bathroom is, has, done, has some updates. You've got the built-in cabinets to the left right here for laundry. For linens, I mean, not laundry. A little dirty, but could be cleaned up and painted, probably. So, linen closet right in the bathroom. And then it looks like a newer vanity. Newer fixture. Looks like a newer tub and tile sh so uh, shower surround and fixtures. It does look like a newer toilet, but it could be just cleaned up, but it's American Standard toilet, so it does look like a newer one. And then the tile work is really nice too. White subway tile with some glass accents. And the tub is extra deep, so it's an extra big size. 
a little bit of a nook back there to set things on and then a shelf up above too. So bathroom is really nice. And there is a light and a fan. So that is right across from the two bedrooms. And two. Also in the hallway is a big walk-in closet. So it could be extra pantry storage is what they're using it for, but also could be like linens and blankets and just extra storage, but it is a walk-in size. So that's in the hallway. So really nice main unit. Really nice and bright. Not a bad size kitchen. And a porch on the front and a porch on the back. So let's go to unit number two.